you're in a learning situation. Coquies Washington rocking the Rutgers football jersey today. Scarlet Knight football team out at Penn State, her former digs. It's worth mentioning that early. Caitlin Maxwell got hurt in their last game against Coppin State. She is out, so these freshmen have to step up, and Kendall Carruthers drops in three. Not surprising we're seeing St. Francis come out in a 2-3 zone. Oftentimes, mid-major teams. Nice steal by St. Francis. Looking ahead. Finishing in transition. Here's Thompson, freshman from Joliet, Illinois. And a three rains down from her classmate, Jillian Herter, who we know as a pull-up shooter. Her staff is charged with recruiting kids who can get out and run. She wants to play fast because she's seen it be successful. She knows how to coach that to success. Now Lisa Thompson, who just knocked in the three, somebody that Coquies Washington said is a major athlete. Even the bigs get out and run, like China Cornwell on the pick two. Brown, nothing between her and the basket. Pull up, that won't go from Dorsey. Again, foot on the gas. Herter, again, there's Thompson in the corner. She'll take the shot this time and she knocks it down. She doesn't have to be the player, the point guard right, right away. And so the freshman can find their way like Jillian Herter is doing as she knocks down her second three. Thompson trying to figure it out. Off the Hezzy, lost a shoe, still fighting for the rebound. Almost came up with it. And so we're five on four and a half as Thompson hobbles a little bit to her shoe. Hope she's all right. Carruthers reigns in three. Thompson feels like she's always ahead of the pack and trying to work on finishing with all that extra space she's giving herself. Thompson's running hard now in this last possession. What's the cock management? How does St. Francis proves the coach wrong. <laughs> Their sports information department was fantastic and said they needed a little more time to do the full research to see are they the youngest team? I'm going to go out on a limb and say that. That's important for St. Francis. Smeichel, open look herself, bottoms up. Kayleen Smeichel knocks down her first three of the game. And now Rutgers emerges with the steal. Michael inside for Adams, found herself wide open. For Rutgers on this baseline out of bounds. Yeah, just a common foul. And Jillian Herter back to playing basketball. That's what she does. Nine points on three threes. Well scouted out of bounds play there for by St. Francis. Thompson swishes it. First double digit performance for Lisa Thompson. She's got 11. She'll try another. She got another. Lisa Thompson in her bag. Some of these freshmen, their bodies and their minds are saying, hey, 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 I haven't played this long, this long. Nice oh, pivot. Boy. Wow. Yes. Nice head, head and shoulder fake there. The bench is excited. These kids are still engaged, knowing that they are competing. Pedicore the other way will shoot free throws. They've been able to be that immediate impact sort of player running the offense. Trying to keep a handle on Boyd. Contests her the whole way, and Boyd still hit it. Sometimes it's good defense, and offense is just better. That was a good example of that. Herter, there's the answer. On the roll, the catch from Daffa, and she lays it in. I like this clock management, Dom. Thompson will take. Thompson will hit. Lisa Thompson having a breakout on this Saturday afternoon. Herter. Her fifth. Jillian Herter feeling it on a Saturday afternoon. Away from the classroom, away from the distractions of home, and really gelling as a team. Both these teams are still young in the amount of time they've played together. And in St. Francis's case, most points scored by a red flash player this season. Antonia Bates raining a three. Everybody dropping in threes for Rutgers. Bates, how about another? How about another? That was the second play, a separate play, even though it was the three from the same spot. But that'll do it from Piscataway. Scarlet Knights get it done on the offensive side. Most threes made under Coquise Washington, 12 of them.